Everyone is terrified of Israel's Merkava tank, and here's why. The Merkava tank, which translates to chariot in Hebrew, is the main battle tank of the Israeli Defense Forces. Its development is a significant part of Israel's military history, showcasing the country's commitment to advanced technology and self-reliance in defense. The story of the Merkava begins in the early 1970s. Following the 1967 Six-Day War and the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Israel realized the importance of having a reliable and potent tank force. They had previously relied on purchased or modified tanks from other countries, but the decision was made to create a domestic tank that would suit their specific needs. The Merkava project was led by General Israel Tal, a prominent figure in the Israeli military, a veteran of World War II and Israel's wars in 1948, 67, and 73, Tal was one of the world's leading experts on armored doctrine. He had played a major role in Israel's victories in both the Six-Day and Yom Kippur wars by training Israeli gunners to fire from further away than either Egyptian or Syrian tanks could manage. Tal drew his inspiration for the Merkava from the lessons learned during those conflicts, envisioning a tank that prioritized crew safety had superior armor and firepower, but could still move with agility across the diverse terrains of Israel. One of the distinguishing features of the Merkava is its overall design, with the engine placed in the front, providing an additional layer of protection for the crew compartment at the back. This goes against the traditional tank design, where the engine is at the rear. The tank's structure is heavily armored, and it includes a unique compartment at the back for infantry soldiers, ammunition, or supplies. The Merkava also boasts advanced weaponry, including a powerful 120mm main gun, a secondary 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, another machine gun mounted on the right side of the turret roof, and an internally mounted 60mm breech-loaded mortar. The roof-mounted machine gun can be remotely aimed and fired by the commander from within the turret and traversed to full 360 degrees. Since its initial introduction, the Merkava has undergone several upgrades and iterations, each improving upon the last. The Merkava Mark I, the first version, was officially introduced into the Israeli military in 1979. The Mark II followed in the 1980s with better armor and improved systems. The 1990s saw the introduction of the Merkava Mark III, which had a more powerful engine, improved armor, and advanced fire control systems. The Merkava Mark IV, introduced in the early 2000s, continued this trend of improvements, integrating even more advanced technology, better protection, and improved weaponry. In the decades since, Israel has amassed a store of over 2,220 Merkava tanks, although a substantial portion of these are still older models. The Mark IV Barak is a so-called smart tank, equipped with state-of-the-art computer systems and sensors to assist the crew in targeting and navigation. Brigadier General Baruk Matsliak, former head of the Merkava Tank Directorate, stated in 2017 that the main challenge facing armor today is the disappearing enemy, which arrives, attacks, and retreats within seconds. He told the Jerusalem Post then that man is not capable of processing all the information when it comes to the disappearing enemy. While comparing the sensors and computer in the Mark IV to the Waze navigation system for cars, he added that, we understand that we need a real task computer in the tank to fuse all the information together, to present it to the tank commander so he can be able to make only the most important decisions, so he can really see and identify the target and analyze the situation in order to make the decision to shoot or not. As a smart tank, the Mark IV has fused sensors and a task computer that presents the same information to both the crew inside the tank as well as to other tanks and vehicles present in the field. The simplification and sharing of intelligence and information via C4I, command control communications computers and intelligence, has been crucial for improving accuracy and timing. The Merkava tank has been an integral part of Israel's military operations since its introduction. It's seen action in various conflicts and has proven its effectiveness on the battlefield. Its emphasis on crew protection has also set a standard in tank design, influencing other military vehicles worldwide. The tank has evolved over decades, integrating advanced technology and innovative design features to meet the challenges of modern urban and desert warfare. The Merkava's fire control system is known for its accuracy and advanced capabilities. It incorporates a range of sensors, laser rangefinders, and computer systems to calculate the optimal firing solution, ensuring high precision even while on the move. 
The tank's gunner and commander have advanced sights and thermal imaging, allowing for effective target acquisition and engagement under diverse conditions, including nighttime operations. The fire control system is also integrated with the tank's navigation system, providing real-time data and aiding in accuracy. The Makava's mobility is a key aspect of its performance, designed to navigate the diverse terrains of Israel from deserts to hilly regions. It is powered by a robust V12 diesel engine, providing a good power-to-weight ratio and ensuring rapid acceleration and high top speeds. The tank's advanced suspension system aids in maneuverability, and its wide tracks provide excellent traction, even in challenging conditions. The Makava's armor is another contributor to the tank's success, ensuring maximum protection for its crew. It features modular composite armor, allowing for quick replacement and adaptation to different threat levels. The tank's front has especially thick armor, and the engine's placement at the front adds an additional layer of protection. In addition to its physical armor, the Makava is equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System, the only fully operational and combat-proven APS against anti-tank guided missiles in the world. The Trophy APS was developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aircraft Industries ELTA Group. Designed to detect and neutralize incoming projectiles, the Trophy system is equipped with four radar antennas and fire control radars to track incoming threats such as anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, and rocket-propelled grenades. Once a projectile is detected, the Trophy system fires a shotgun-type blast to neutralize the threat. The tank also features NBC, Nuclear Biological Chemical Protection, helping ensure the crew's safety in a variety of threat environments. When compared to other modern main battle tanks like the M1 Abrams, Leopard 2, or T90, the Makava holds its ground in terms of technological capabilities and protection. While it may not have the same speed as some of its counterparts, its emphasis on crew safety and its advanced fire control system make it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The Makava's modular armor and active protection system give it an edge in survivability, something that is paramount in Israeli military doctrine. While tanks like the M1 Abrams have mostly comparable armor and weaponry, the Makava's unique design features and adaptations for infantry support make it more versatile. The combination of advanced fire control, robust armor, and superior protection systems has a profound impact on the Makava's combat effectiveness. The high accuracy of its weaponry ensures that it can engage and neutralize threats at long distances, while its armor and protection systems significantly reduce the vulnerability of the tank and its crew. The tank's design prioritizing crew safety means that even if the tank is disabled in combat, the crew has a higher chance of survival, ensuring experienced and trained soldiers can continue to contribute to the defense forces. Furthermore, the integration of systems supporting infantry operations makes the Makava a versatile asset on the battlefield, capable of fulfilling multiple roles beyond that of a traditional main battle tank. In essence, the technologies integrated into the Makava tank have proven crucial in its operational success and effectiveness in combat, reflecting a balanced approach to firepower, protection, and mobility. This has not only established the Makava as a key component of Israel's military might, but also as a prominent example of modern tank design focused on multidimensional warfare and crew safety. Historically, this strong emphasis on crew protection has paid dividends. The tank's front is especially well protected, featuring thick layers of armor, and the engine placed at the front providing an additional protective barrier for the crew. This unconventional design choice ensures that even in the event of a frontal attack, the crew compartment remains shielded. To enhance its mine protection, the Makava's floor is reinforced, and the tank employs a special suspension system designed to mitigate the impact of explosions. These features collectively make the Makava one of the best protected tanks in the world against anti-tank missiles and mine blasts. Another important aspect of the Makava's design is its rear compartment, which can be used to transport additional troops or carry supplies. This space, situated behind the tank's turret, can accommodate up to six infantry soldiers, allowing the Makava to function as an armored personnel carrier in addition to its role as a main battle tank. This design feature greatly enhances the tank's versatility on the battlefield, providing additional support to ground forces and contributing to the tank's overall effectiveness in combat operations. The Makava has a proven track record of surviving attacks in various combat situations, primarily due to these exceptional design and protection features. There have been numerous instances, particularly in conflicts with Hezbollah 
and during operations in the Gaza Strip, where Merkava tanks have survived direct hits from anti-tank missiles and IEDs, sometimes with the crew members walking away with minimal or no injuries. This has also resulted in comparatively lighter losses of both tanks and personnel. During the 1982 Israeli-Lebanese war, for instance, Israel lost dozens of tanks, but only a tiny percentage of those were Merkava's. Even during the 2006 war with Hezbollah, which fired more than 1,000 anti-tank missiles throughout the conflict, the losses of Merkava's were far more limited than older armor. In total, five Merkava tanks were destroyed. Of these, two were Merkava Mark IV. One was damaged by an IED, and the other was destroyed by a Russian AT-14 Cornet missile. The Israeli military said that it was satisfied with the Merkava Mark IV performance and attributed most of the problems to insufficient training before the war. In total, 50 Merkava tanks, mostly Merkava IIs and Threes, were hit, eight of which remained immediately serviceable on the battlefield. The Merkava experienced even more success during Israel's 2014 war with Hamas, as no Merkava tanks were even damaged during the conflict. The Mark IV versions, fitted with the Trophy Active Protection System, reportedly intercepted dozens of anti-tank missiles and RPGs during the ground operation, mostly Russian-made Cornet models, proving to many that it was extraordinarily effective against man-portable anti-tank weapons. However, this is not always the case, and like any battle tank, the Merkava is not invincible. This is especially true in today's technologically advanced combat environments. As the war in Ukraine has demonstrated, small drones with explosives attached to them can be deadly to tanks. This is even true for models as well armored and advanced as the Merkava. As part of its infiltration of southern Israel on October 7 and subsequent murder and abduction of hundreds of Israelis and foreigners, Hamas fighters struck Israeli outposts along the 40-mile border wall separating Israel from the Gaza Strip. Merkava tanks have patrolled the border for decades, meant to stop just such an incursion. But this time, some of them came under attack by Hamas's grenade-dropping drones. Hamas videos depict multiple successful strikes on Merkava Mark IVs. In at least two cases, the tanks also burned, showing just how deadly explosive drones can be to armor unprepared for a precision strike from above. At first glance, many speculated that the drone's grenades, which weigh only a couple of pounds, penetrated the thin top armor on the Merkava's turrets. In general, that's how Ukrainian and Russian drones have been destroying each other's tanks in such large numbers. But later experts analyzed the videos of Hamas drone strikes on Merkava's. In both, it seems the drone's grenades struck either the engine compartment in the front of the tank's hull or the ammunition stowage in the bustle hanging from the back of the turret. Such strikes show the limitations of increasing tank durability. Even though the Merkava has some of the most durable top turret armor in the world, not every area of the tank can be so well protected, and a top-down strike on the front of the hull at best destroys the tank's engine and immobilizes it. A strike on the back of the turret, on the bustle, tends to ignite the ammo stored there. So as military analyst David Axe recently noted, a top-down strike on the front of the hull at best destroys the tank's engines and immobilizes it. A strike on the back of the turret, on the bustle, tends to ignite the ammo stored there. But the ensuing secondary explosion occurs outside the turret, not inside where the crew is. All that is to say, the Merkava is better protected from top-down drone attacks than other tank types are. It's not invulnerable, of course but a drone strike on a Merkava is far more likely to immobilize the tank and spare the crew than it is to take out both the tank and the crew. Yet Israel is also clearly concerned about the possibility of a direct strike on the tank hatch. In the days since Hamas's attack, videos have emerged of Merkavas being modified with so-called cope cages, hardened protective screens, which the Russians began to adopt in 2022 to try and stop Ukrainian ATGM strikes. This again points to the role of the war in Ukraine, which has heavily influenced modern combat doctrine and technology in what several experts have called a modern war laboratory. Numerous militaries around the world have watched and attempted to learn from different aspects of the conflict, including how to avoid the fate of Russia, which has lost upwards of 5,000 tanks. For the IDF, losing multiple Merkavas in a matter of days seems to have acted as a wake-up call. Mark Kantian, a senior advisor with the Center for Strategic and International Studies, told the Washington Post that, My assumption is that the Hamas attacks gave Israel the impetus to install the cages more widely. It's probably something that they had been thinking about before since everyone is watching the war in Ukraine so closely. One major question is how effective cope cages will actually be against Hamas drone operators. Samuel Bendet, a drone expert at the Center for Naval Analyses, 
has pointed out that the effectiveness of extra shielding like this on a tank varies wildly, depending on the type of drone being used. They are generally more effective against quadcopters that drop small munitions, like the drones Hamas used in the attacks against Israeli forces. They are less useful against cheaply made racing drones that are more maneuverable. Such weapons have been used more and more recently to target Russia's Wagner mercenaries in Sudan. A talented pilot, Bendet said, can get around the gaps in the cages and armor, but it's still unclear whether Hamas has acquired such technology, known as first-person view or FPV drones. If it has, whether through Iran or other channels, it's likely to pose a significant challenge to Israel's armored divisions, especially in a dense urban environment like Gaza. Similarly, the protective screens would be of limited use against weapons like rocket-propelled grenades, if fired down on Israeli vehicles from high buildings within Gaza. Sonny Butterworth, a senior analyst at the defense intelligence firm Jane's, noted that shields act as a buffer intended to prematurely detonate an explosive, disable warheads used on some rocket-propelled grenades, or, in the case of drone drop grenades, cause the weapon to simply roll off the vehicle before it strikes weaker armor or fall into an open hatch. None of this solves the problem of fast-moving, pinpoint drone strikes, as any attack with sufficient accuracy will still be able to hit the least armored area of a tank. Even the much-lauded trophy system will fare, as it's likely that the tanks Hamas destroyed in its surprise attack did not have the protection system active. In sum, it's always worth remembering that due to the changing nature of modern warfare, even the best defenses in the world are not a guarantee. But while the Merkava Mark IV still has weaknesses against skilled or technologically adept anti-tank fire, so does every other modern armored vehicle. And there is little doubt that pound for pound, the Merkava remains among the most powerful and sophisticated tanks in the world, with a terrifying reputation among nations. Yet, only time will tell if its array of advanced features and firepower will stand up to the challenges of asymmetric warfare in the 21st century. What do you think? Just how powerful and relevant is the Merkava on today's battlefield? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more military content and analysis.